Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I posted a video, but here I am with a fresh content. And today I'm gonna be talking about different accommodations in the United Kingdom, and specifically a Bristol University student accommodation. Before arriving to the UK, it took me a really long time to find a suitable accommodation. And I was choosing mainly between student uh, accommodation and then private accommodation as well. But all this paperwork with private accommodation just pushed me away. If only I knew about Amber Student. It's actually a company that helps students find the suitable accommodation nearby university based on your preferences and does all the paperwork for you. And actually all these services are free. Yeah, you heard me well. All the services are free and personalized. Well, first of all, Amber Student operates in 100 plus cities in the UK, US, Australia, France, Germany, and so many other countries. Wanna know how it works? Well, you search for a place you wanna stay. You want something affordable? It's there. Something luxurious and bougie? It's also there. What's more? There is an option of free cancellation and visa relief uncertainties. No visa, no pay. And also, it includes special offers and freebies. And finally, you just need to book a place. The company helps you from A to Z, including all the lease agreement and paperwork. Sounds good? Try it on and choose a place to stay by pressing the link below. Enjoy your stay and your student life. Bye! just uh, sit with the study groups etc there are lots of computers inside study places and uh, also a few other things but like we weren't able to go inside as a students because uh, of the lockdown it was closed and I'm not really sure when it will open up but I hope it will be for this academic year and uh, just like it's the full place and that is just the forest nearby Ross accommodation. So that's how it looks like the whole place. Here is a lunch and then all the other places are Ross accommodation. Right. And right there you can find um, laundry. It's in Rosa C. I think it's the only place in Rosa for the laundry. Right. And uh, that's how it looks like from inside. I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to do that, but just to show how it looks like. Right, I'll show you how things look like in here. So when you enter, you see this Rosa Block C entrance, and then there are some guidance, keep clean your hands, and etc. You use your student ID card, it opens. Then there is a hand sanitizer right here, more hand sanitizer, and uh, thank you for keeping distance, social distancing. Um, you go to your place, it's quite a maze here, so just don't get lost. It's more of automatic lights, so when you pass, it opens. Lumos. Lumos, yeah, right. And then again, you need this thing. Lumos, Lumos Maxima. Lumos. <laughs> right, so that's how it looks like. At first, I felt like it's hospital, but then I got used to it. Maybe it felt like it because of, um, you know, bleach and etc. And if you want to enter, you again use your card. Right, when you enter, you see this picture, but yeah, it's not gonna be exactly the same for you, it's just my mess. Uh, there is a switch for the bedroom, and then the other, the other one for the toilet and bathroom. I will show you toilet first, so there is a sign. When you enter, there is a heater, a sink, mirror, and then another. Uh, lights, 
for shaving thing uh, it's quite small I would say but it is okay for a person to just stay in here there are some some of my things and then funny fact is that if you want to switch on the shower you use this thing like only after that you can switch it on right and then you've got shower like this some space and that's it after that once you enter you see this whole picture there is a bed yeah, of course it's all my things pinboard uh, regulator for the heater heater you got right here you need to first on it on uh, the switcher and then just regulate right here uh, I'm using my suitcase for another kind of shelf <laughs> there is a yoga mat and then there is a window actually I like the fact that there are double curtains because with this white one no one can see you from outside during the daylight during the daytime and with another one no one can see you at night so you just use it right there is a heater as I told you then there is a cupboard it's uh, quite spacious I can put my things inside and then there is a table right it's quite messy but you know shit happens there is a shelf with some of my books that I have never read well Harry Potter I read but other things are not something that I read and then here I've got another um, another shelves well I read Dan Brown now there is a light lamp and uh, you got some plugs in here another plug and that is for the fast internet inside of the room it's not yeah it is quite fast and the walls are just like that i don't quite like them i don't have like i just don't like them but you know you can maybe decorate and do something with that since i wasn't living here that much and i'm gonna move out soon i decided not to decorate well i think that's it for my room and uh, i can just show you how it looks like from outside so here is the view I've got there is a parking lot for only residents of like this place you need to register or do something I don't know exactly you can find all the information on the website uh, and yeah there are more places so if any of you still were interested how the room looks like in just as an empty place so that's how it looks like it's nearly the same, just without any stuff in there. Well, that's how it looks. I mean, the place for the uh, iron claws is a bit um, larger than in Kortmar. And yeah, that's what you got here. Right, so just to show you how our kitchen looks like in Ross accommodation. So when you enter, you see like a big place. Uh, for our kitchen, it's quite big, than, bigger than compared to other places, like to other flats and etc. So there is a table uh, just for like, you know, cutting things and etc. There are lots of cupboards for eight person living in this flat. And I think it's quite reasonable because you can use about two uh, cupboards just for yourself. Like, uh, I'm using much more than that right now because there are less people living here and I can afford that. Right, and then there is a uh, toaster, what else? Kettle included, microwave, and all these things. And also, there are two um, hops to use. Right, what else? There is another. Uh, kind of shelves to put your things there there is a sink and there are two um, two fridges you got here and again you can use about two like shelves just for yourself and it's quite okay I think it's quite enough then right here you got some of the paper uh, plastic bags for the rubbish bins and then there are more things inside 
I'll show you right now. And actually for the steamer, for like some other things, you should own it by yourself. No one is going to give it to you. Like just buy it for yourself and do whatever you want with it. Right. And then there is some other things. So here we got uh, rubbish bands, rubbish bins, sorry, uh, for different allocations. So it's like general waste and then for food, for glasses and then for the uh how it's called for the dry mixed bin and then there is a vacuum cleaner table with some sofa on it and there is a pin board if you wanna pin something in here we actually wrote down some good things like name room number program you're studying like i don't know master of international science finance for example is mine and then birthday and country so we go for all of this for all people right so here is the place there is an iron board and then mop and just some other stuff and uh, what else um, iron itself some more things like the bags you got here and that's it right then as I showed you there are shelves it's quite messy in here, but anyways, I'm just showing you how the actual thing looks like. And I like the fact that the windows are quite small because less people can see it because in Kortmar it's so very large. It's like for the whole wall and everyone can see you from outside. Um, how does the window open up? Hang on. Oh, well, okay, it opens this way. It's quite different than in previous accommodations where I lived in. So, the view you get in here. And that is the room. You have a large window over there. Uh, I actually like it. And shelves big table over here and uh, there is a sink mirror and quite a lot of place to store your things so it's overall it's good there is a bed we are going to the kitchen and that's how it looks like so when you just enter you see this picture and the kitchen is actually quite big and spacious so there are three sofas, there is a vacuum cleaner over the broom and uh, just some, some other things. And uh, you have some view here and large windows. There is uh, two fridges for eight people living on this flat and it's quite alright. As of shelves, there are quite a lot of them, so again, it will be spacious, so it's gonna be like two for one person. And yeah, just that's what you get for the whole place. And there are two um, ovens and uh, just hopes. That's how it looks.